Hello everyone, my name is Sean and today I'll be demonstrating the second language I have learned over the course of two weeks. Before we get started here, I just want to quickly reiterate that I don't want to claim any degree of fluency in any of the languages that I've been studying here, not even a smidge. Within those two weeks, I spent roughly an hour a day of study tops along with listening to a lot of random weird music in the target language. Which, all in all, is a grand total of like 14 hours, give or take, and let's be honest, sometimes I even lose track of that. I personally wouldn't count any of these languages that I've been learning over the course of this project as languages that I speak in any way. That might change in the future, but for now it is what it is. I just want to showcase them, let people know of them, and maybe it would even be cool to motivate someone out there to learn one as well. I'm not a linguistics genius, I'm not a machine that studies languages day and night, I'm just a guy who likes reading about linguistics, history, and geography, it has a lot of free time on his hands, and... I want to share that with the world. In any case, let's get right back into this week's episode, introducing the second winner of Speech Leech, the proud, the innovative, the spectacular, Bulgarian language. Ah, Bulgarian. As a Russian speaker myself, when reading it, I can understand quite a bit, but when spoken, Bulgarian is just a complete jumbled up mess of wrong stress, wrong intonation. But it's another Slavic language, and it's pretty interesting to see the similarities and difference between the two when learning. Most of the time when learning, especially for beginning words and phrases, I didn't even have to write a translation because it was just so similar to Russian. But from my perspective, the thing that weirded me out the most, to be honest, is this. In Russian, there are two letters, sh and sh. My name, for example, Shon, is written with the first one, and the second one, sh, is kind of just like a softer version of the first one. In Bulgarian, this is still sh, no problems here, all good. But then this is sh, it's just like a sh, but pronounced with like a T after it. Where did the T come from? Like, what? Also, in Bulgarian, the letters e, u, and yo are completely not there, and Bulgarian seems to be completely obsessed with the letter tvrdi znak, which is used so rarely in Russian. I mean, it used to be used, like, all the time for a different reason before the orthographic reform of Russian, like, a hundred years ago, but you guys still use it a lot. And when looking at these differences, I can't help but think, you're wrong, but then I remember Bulgarian actually invented the alphabet, which means all my arguments go out the window. Damn it. As mentioned before, Bulgarian is native to Bulgaria and the surrounding regions and is spoken anywhere between 8 to 15 million speakers, I like to say 10 million-ish. It's part of the southern branch of the Slavic language family and is written using the Cyrillic script. It's also an official language of the European Union and the only language of the European Union to be written using the Cyrillic script. Back around the 7th century, there were these Turkic semi-nomadic people known as the Old Bulgars living around the the Caspian steppe area from the Ural region of Russia to the edges of the Balkans. At some point they split up, with some migrating further east towards the Ural mountains and eventually, supposedly, surprisingly, allegedly, becoming ancestors to the modern-day Tatar and Chuvash people in Russia. Coincidentally, Chuvash is actually one of the choices for today's episode, but more on that later. Anyway, other old Bulgars settled in the Balkans, intermixing with the local Slavic tribes, and BAM! Bulgaria is born. Ultimately though, Bulgarian is a Slavic language, but with many Turkic influences. I mean, having ancient Turkic roots and being under the rule of the Ottoman Empire for a few hundred years will kind of do that to you. As much as 14% of the vocabulary is of possible Turkic origin, though some of these might be indirect loanwords from Persian and Arabic as well. There's also the issue with the Macedonian language. Now, linguistically, for the most part, they are mutually intelligible, but there is a lot of small regional variation in both countries, so there are arguments in both ways. Some linguists have argued that Bulgarian and Macedonian are the same language, while some others say that Macedonian is a separate language in its own right. But both of these arguments have a myriad of historical and political claims that are too complicated to be getting into now. One thing I will say though is that the Macedonian alphabet has some letters modified and some letters borrowed from the Latin alphabet. The Bulgarian alphabet has 30 letters, but in reality, Bulgarian has 8 vowel phonemes and 35 consonant phonemes. Bulgarian generally has an SVO word order, though it is quite flexible. Nouns have 3 genders, are marked for definiteness, and verbs have 9 tenses and 3 moods, and barely any cases. Compared to pretty much all other Slavic languages, Bulgarian has, for the most part, lost its case system, with nouns having nominative and vocative only, and pronouns can also technically have accusative and dative, but that's really the extent of it. Az misle, če bulgarski et mi ne tvrde truden, zašto to govara ruski, te je sam mnogo različni, no az veče znam az bukata, i moga da razbera mnogo nešta. Zdrasti, dobr den, az se kazvam šon, kak si, Dobre sem, blagodarja, merci, dovežane. Dnes je sobota, jedina deseti jad april. Bil sem v Bulgarije i predi, no samo za malko. Minah pre Sofija, do Skopije i obratno, takače ne ostanah nošta v Bulgarije, 
um, uh, iskam da se vrna, imam dobr prijatelj od Bulgarije, uh, kazva se Sara. To va Sara govori bulgarski rodno, uh, mnogo podobre od men. Tri nešta za koji tu mogu da kaže da sam gorda, da sam bulgarka, je hranata. Najdobrata hrana v celita Balkani. Nomer dve, horta, koliko so gostoprijemni, običljivi in mili, vsem ako ne so super gadni in zobni. I posledno, priroda. Imamo najkrasivota priroda, moreta, planinina, celi svijet. In naistini si služava, da bodo videni. Viš, politikata, pravitelskoto, druga ravta. Mnogo blagodarja na Sara, to va beše prekrasno. Siguren sem, če bulgarski jad hrana je mnogo dobre, no prosto treba da kaže, če bulgarski jad McDonald's je najdobri jad McDonald's, je na koji to sem bil. I drugi hora kazva tova. Moji te prijatelji kazva tova. Sprejah me vjedna v Sofija, bjah obrkan od da in nje. A Big Mac, koji to imah tam, beše toliko va svež, toliko va vkusen, toliko va dober. Na istina iskam da se vrna i da izsledovam poveče. In any case, Bulgarian was definitely an interesting and fun language to learn, and you should also give it a try if you find it interesting too. But for now, let's get into the next choices of the letter C. First off, I just want to quickly say that this time I deliberately picked more unknown and obscure languages because much love to both Albanian and Bulgarian, but they have been by far the most spoken languages in the respective groups, and I want to give the little guys a chance as well. Also, I just want to sincerely apologize to my Czech and Croatian friends out there in case you wanted to see your languages featured, but we just had a Slavic language, and I just want to try something different this time. If you blame anyone, blame the Bulgarians. Nah, just kidding. We're all friends here. Maybe there'll be a video about them in the future as well, but in the meantime, if you ever get a chance to go to Czech Republic or Croatia, go. Both are just... Amazing. Also, I filmed this next part about a week ago, so get ready for a much fuller beard and a different t-shirt.